G'day everyone and welcome back to Next Level Adventures for another town showcase. In this showcase you'll find all the information that you need to know about the town of Katoomba in the New South Wales Blue Mountains. Katoomba is one of my favourite towns in the Blue Mountains and I absolutely love it every time I go here. There's a never ending supply of things to do for adventure seekers and people looking for a nice relaxing day out. There's something in Katoomba for everyone and that's what I really love about it. Those who enjoy adventure, those who enjoy just having a peaceful day in the mountains, and even those who just enjoy the old mountain towns will really enjoy Katoomba. So let's not waste any more time and let's get right into this one. Katoomba is one of a few major towns throughout the Blue Mountains. It's very rich with tourism attractions and is often the go-to destination for tourists in the Blue Mountains. It's a very beautiful town with lots of amazing natural wonders. It also has all the major conveniences one could want in a town. The town is located 102 kilometers from Sydney via the Great Western Highway and 1,017 meters above sea level. Katoomba is the most visited town in the Blue Mountains. It wasn't until 1879 that the town became known when JB North opened the Katoomba coal mine. Coal was obtained from the side of the mountain near Orphan Rock using a cable car to bring the coal to the top. The now famous scenic railway operates in the original cutting in the mountainside. It is widely accepted that the town's name comes from an Aboriginal word, variously written as Gudumba or Kadumba, meaning water tumbling over a hill or falling water. Today, Katoomba boasts a population of around 8,000 people and is a bustling tourist hub. There is plenty to do in Katoomba, including visit some of the stunning surrounding Blue Mountains National Park, Scenic Railway, Three Sisters, Katoomba Falls and Echo Point, just to name a few. Katoomba area is the heart of the Blue Mountains National Park, which covers almost 300,000 hectares of pristine mountain wilderness. This popular day trip from Sydney is home to the iconic Three Sisters. It's packed with heritage walks, world-class views and waterfalls, including Wentworth Falls. Katoomba is home to the previously mentioned Scenic Railway. The Scenic Railway is the steepest railway incline in the world and is now one of the most popular man-made tourist attractions in Australia. The ride takes you down a steep descent past Orphan Rock, through a tunnel and the beautiful fern damp cliff face. Adjacent to the Scenic Railway is the Scenic Cableway the steepest aerial cable car in Australia. The Scenic Cableway takes you on an almost 550 metre ride into the Greater Blue Mountains World Heritage Area Rainforest above the Jamison Valley. Scenic World also features a spectacular scenic walkway. A popular option for visitors is to descend into the valley via the Scenic Railway, stroll along the scenic walkway and ascend to the top via the cableway. Also at the same site is the magnificent Scenic Skyway. The original Skyway was Australia's first cable Skyway for passengers and was built in 1958. The new Skyway with a glass bottom floor can carry up to 84 passengers across the Jamison Valley at a height of 200 metres. The views are truly breathtaking. There are also plenty of awesome lookouts throughout the Katoomba region. A visit to the Blue Mountains would not be complete without viewing the spectacular Three Sisters at Echo Point. Directions to the Three Sisters are well signposted. The Three Sisters is approximately 2.5 kilometres from the Great Western Highway or Katoomba Railway Station. Either take Katoomba Street or Lurline Street to Echo Point Road. While the Blue Mountains features so much more than this natural attraction, you can't help but admire the unquestionable beauty of this amazing rock formation. The character of the Three Sisters changes throughout the day and throughout the seasons as the sunlight brings out the magnificent colours. The Three Sisters is also floodlit at night looking even more stunning set against the black background of the night sky. For those wishing to know more about the Three Sisters, the Aboriginal Dreamtime stories are well worth a read. The famous giant stairway is also found at Echo Point. If you're enthusiastic and energetic, you can take the 800 steps down to the floor of the valley. Katoomba's Echo Point Visitor Information Center is located at Echo Point, where you can experience spectacular views as well as an up-close view of Rosella's feeding on sunflower seeds. The center has many Australian gifts for sale and can provide you with a vast array of information on things to do and see within the area. 
In the centre of town, the first hotel in Katoomba was erected in 1882, known as the Great Western Hotel. This establishment attracted many visitors to the area. The hotel was sold in 1886 to Mr. F. Goida, who performed major alterations on the building and renamed it the Carrington after the reigning governor. The Carrington underwent a major renovation and reopened to the public in 1998. On the north side of the Great Western Highway is the head office of the Blue Mountain City Council, the Renaissance Centre and the Edge Cinema. The Edge has one of the largest cinema screens in the Southern Hemisphere. Visitors to the Edge can enjoy a 40-minute documentary titled The Edge. This film was exclusively produced for the cinema and offers the ultimate on-screen Blue Mountains wilderness experience. This movie takes you to places in the Blue Mountains which you may never be able to discover yourself. Further west in Katoomba, along the Great Western Highway, is the famous Explorer's Marked Tree, now caged in and sheltered to protect the remains of the tree from weather and vandalism, the tree has the initials of the famous explorers Blacksland, Wentworth and Lawson, dated 1813. Just behind the marked tree at the top of the pulpit hill you will see around 20 heaps of stones. It is believed that these mark the graves of the convicts who died while working on the Cox's Road. This was also the location of many religious services, hence the name Pulpit Hill. Just near the Explorer's Mark Tree down Nellie's Glen Road is the start of the famous Six Foot Track. For the adventurous, this track will take you from Katoomba through to Janolan Caves, taking the route down into Nellie's Glen across the Megalong Valley. Also down Nellie's Glen Road, you can walk to Pulpit Rock and Boonie Doon Falls. Katoomba is full of adventure and should absolutely be on your Blue Mountains bucket list. If you have any further questions about Katoomba, please be sure to drop them down in the comment section below and we will get back to them as swiftly as possible. Thank you very much for tuning in guys and watching another town showcase here on Next Level Adventures. We hope you found the information in this video useful for your next adventure. And if you haven't already, we hope you've added Katoomba to your Blue Mountains bucket list. Thank you very much for watching and as always, we will see you in the next adventure.